All right, let's talk about Officer Tatum wearing his Make Men Men Again shirt. He's very angry about cereal today. And because he's very angry about cereal today, um, well, I don't actually have any any way to like play off that very well because I think just hating cereal is stupid. So I guess we'll just go into the fan art section, right? So first of all, we have this very well shaded Necosaurus from Mathematical Cabbage. And then next we have a Maid Cirrus from 666, the anime cat 666. And finally, we have apparently Necosaurus playing with a laser pointer by Jack and Quill. As always, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want to submit fan art to the show, the best way to do so is in the fan art section of the Discord. That will guarantee that your fan art will eventually pop up. Otherwise, I may lose track of it because I lose track of everything. Thank you all for that. And let's get into Tatum's arguments. About to get hot. About to get hot, apparently, This video guys. is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, I'll make a video. That's cool. That's cool. See, I'm going to have to stop you right there. I'm going to let you finish. But uh, did you know that ddlgplayground.com is a wonderful website where you can get all kinds of things that are great for you and yours? Uh, and the best way to get stuff there is by using coupon code SERIS. If you use my coupon code, that will give you 10% off of anything in the store. And it also gives me a little kickback as well. So go get yourself a nice fluffy butt plug and stuff it. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Okay, let's done? get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm getting right into this. We ain't got to talk long. We ain't gotta say much. You ain't got. You ain't gotta say much. Thank you, Bright Bar, for 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 putting this out here. If your statement begins with "Thank you, Bright Bart," I have concerns. Somebody explain this to me. I'll give you a little time. Somebody explain this to me. Okay. Um, it's Fruit Loops, likely. Uh, and as they already happen to have colorful shapes, they just decided to take the easy way out and, and market it for Pride Month. Like, okay, cool. I, I just did it. Why? 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 Because it's Pride Month? Because gay people exist and aren't a threat to you or your Western civilization. We need to tell Kellogg's and their, their little thing is here. Why are you doing this? Don't you mean we need to ask them? I mean, if you're going to tell them why, that's that's kind of weird. If you look at the side panel on this, these Cheerios, it says he, her, and she, she is, yeah. and... They, them, and all this other stuff, and they say, put your nouns. Yeah, every everybody has pronouns, literally. Dark Wolf 1200, thank you very much for the follow. You know, like, every everybody has pronouns. I, I, I can call you a he. You, you have pronouns. I don't understand the problem. If you don't think this is brainwashing, if you don't think this is propaganda, what is the point of this? Marketing. I no no seriously seriously this is rainbow capitalism this is what it is okay okay now I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two arguments for you to you one rainbow capitalism is exploitative two rainbow capitalism is good okay two arguments this is coming from a socialist rainbow capitalism is exploitative because it's literally doing the bare minimum and not actually doing anything to fight for LGBTQ rights uh, but it's just like existing. It's 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 virtue signaling. Okay, it's 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 bad because of that. Okay, cool. Why is it good? Because it means that there are enough people who are LGBTQ to be considered a marketable demographic that it is good to appeal to. This is indicative of the growing recognizability of LGBTQ people in the United States. We can't avoid the fact that capitalists systems will exploit people we, we literally cannot avoid that in the current state of things so for now this is fine this is good 
if companies are willing to be pro LGBTQ, it means that LGBTQ people have a little more bargaining power at the social table. Not because those companies are doing that, but they had the bargaining power and then companies decided that they wanted to work with that. Now, past that, past that, why would a company do this? Uh, again, it's it's marketing. They are literally just marketing to people. So LGBTQ people and people who are allies to them will see this and go, this is a good thing. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, take it ex take as an example. Um, every single time that we find that uh, Chick-fil-A is donating to uh, anti-trans or anti-gay organizations of any kind, typically a lot of people who are more left-leaning, more liberal, more anything like that, um, they will usually end up doing some sort of mass boycott of Chick-fil-A. And then when Chick-fil-A acquiesces and says, we're not going to donate to that specific charity anymore, um, then usually they get a lot of sales for a brief bit from people who otherwise wouldn't have been buying their stuff because they're showing that as a company they are trying to do better, even though we keep finding more shit. It's fairly normal for companies to go, oh shit, the social, the social zeitgeist is going this way, let's go ahead and roll with it, because that's how marketing works. If you have a problem with marketing, then, I mean, we have a common enemy, I guess. Why are they doing this for children? Did Gay people exist and children will have to encounter them in their everyday lives? Likely. Teaching children that it's okay to exist around gay people instead of teaching children that they are evil and, and terrible. Probably a good thing. So I view sexuality as the same as race, okay? This is something that is immutable. This is something that is largely unchangeable. This is something that you don't get to control, right? So if we had a, hit, a, a serial that says something about Black History Month, right? I don't see anything wrong with that because it's just bringing awareness to a thing. And especially if that serial was coming out around the 60s and 70s as people were moving out of the old Jim Crow era, it would make a lot of sense for the, social, for the marketing departments to work within the social zeitgeist of the time. This is no different than that. Literally no different from that. This kid probably don't even know what a pronoun is. Yes, he does. No, 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 dead fucking serious, dead fucking serious. If this kid is four or five and they're being taught how to read right now, they probably know what a fucking pronoun is. I know I did. When I was five years old, I was reading shit like Stuart Little and, and the Bible because I was in PCA and that was what we had to read. I knew what a pronoun was because I'd been taught what the proper noun in a sentence was. They probably don't even know how to write good. Why does their ability to write factor into the conversation? Like their ability to write well, why does that matter? They probably still can't pull their own catalogs Frosted Flakes. Okay. Why does your ability... What is what is the how how does the ability to pour a cereal coincide with the ability to engage in English? Fruit root fruity loops or whatever these are. They can't even they can't pour their own bowl. And? But you got them he hers and she she is. Cool. Okay, let me go ahead and use your fucking argument, okay, Tatum? I'll use your argument, okay? It's gonna be fun. Is everybody ready for a good time? Let's have a good time. Okay? Why the fuck would you have nutritional facts on the back of a box of cereal? This kid can't pour his own cereal. How the fuck is he going to know what a carbohydrate is? Oh, it sounds really fucking stupid when I say it that way. That's that's because it was the first time. It was really fucking stupid when you said it. <laughs> this is what bothers me with this. They're introducing propaganda to your children. Dude, you literally make propaganda on your channel for a living. Don't even. If a kid has never thought about this, they're going to think about it now. Okay. And you know what's going to happen as a result of this? A couple things. One, you haven't demonstrated that this is bad. You just said that it's a thing. Let's say it's propaganda, okay? Let's say it's propaganda. 
What is the end result of this propaganda? Here's the thing. Anytime you're talking about propaganda, indoctrination, brainwashing, all of these evil words, it's always a good idea to figure out, like, what's the end result of this, right? So remember all the anti-drug PSAs that happened in the 90s about, like, don't smoke crack, don't smoke heroin? Those things were advertised to children. They were advertised on, on networks for people who were five and six years old. They were all propaganda, and most parents didn't have a problem with it because, well, the propaganda was telling them to not do drugs. Propaganda in the church is perfectly fine because it tells you to be Christian, I guess. They have a problem with this one because they have a problem with gay people. When you say propaganda, you probably need to talk about what that propaganda is signaling to. What's the end result of this? Dad, what is a gay person? And then you have the conversation with the kid. Um, so, you know how mommy and daddy love each other very much? Yeah? Well, sometimes there are mommies who love each other very much. Sometimes there are daddies who love each other very much. And, you know, sometimes there are people who... Eh, they don't really call themselves either, but, but they love each other all the same. Oh, okay. Like, seriously, any five-year-old without, like preconceptions that have been ingrained to them by bigoted parents is probably going to just hear what I just said and go, oh, okay. That's it. That's as far as that's going to go. Uh, Raziel Fas Fastus, thank you very much for redeeming the... Oh, well. Oh, well. Like, this is coming from somebody who's worked with kids. I used to work, uh, not work, but volunteer, rather. Volunteer to work, but not work for pay. Uh, at the Fricker Center in Pensacola. And when I did that, I had to explain, like, basic concepts to kids all the time when I was there. Depending on their age, they will accept things like this pretty easily. And a conversation starter like something out of cereal is fine. If the conversation that comes from that is, hey, maybe don't hate people, how the fuck does it matter? Said, how old am I? I'm 29. I was working there. I was like 15, 16. Zwin, thank you very much for the follow. If a kid has never had a conversation about this, you're going to have you're going to have to have it now. Okay? I just went through the whole conversation tree right there. Hi, what is this? It is this. Yes. That's it. That that's the whole conversation tree. It's not that complicated. There's no place. Never. In a child's yeah. formation, that they need to be dealing with the LGBTQ movement. Really? Bondage Brian, thank you very much for the follow. So, wait, there's no point in time where a child is going to have to deal with um, potentially not understanding their, their gender? There's never a point in time where a child's going to have to deal with a crush? Let's say your child is six, seven, eight years old. They're they're young. They might have their first crush. Now, this isn't sexual. They haven't gone through puberty or anything like that. This is just their first crush. And your kid, who's a boy, has their first crush on a boy. And they feel like that's wrong because the majority of the relationships they've seen in media... Uh, on the back of their cereal boxes, uh, from their parents, what have you, were all straight. This is a thing that happened with a lot of kids in the 90s. So they have their first crush, and their first crush was the same gender as them. Well, hold on. How awkward does that kid feel? And likely, that kid will probably stay in the closet for a while, not addressing the fact that this was their crush, because, well, that couldn't have been right, because I'm a guy, and they're a guy. That, that, that. That can't be real. So they ignore it. And then, you know, 20 years later, they realize after several failed relationships with women that they were actually gay. Gimme, thank you very much for the hydrate. Did usually parents dismiss the first love as puppy love? Even so, though, even so, if a parent has to deal with puppy love, but it's puppy love to, like, a, the same gender... At least that's a point where the kid can can get it normalized to them that this is fine. There is no part of child development that they need to be talking about pronouns. Uh, 
Uh, what age do we normally teach children to use pronouns and verbs? Whoa, what? Wait. Between 12 to 26 months of age, children will use the pronoun I. Between the 26 and 36 months, they will uh, acquire the pronouns my, me, mine, and you. Oh, wait, hold on. Is this is this just showing all the, all the stages of development where children will have to wrestle with different kinds of pronouns? Oh, man, that... Oh, fucking hell! I didn't even expect to find this! <laughs> Tatum, not only do you not understand how basic fucking grammar is taught to children, I stumbled on children literally dealing with pronouns before 48 months. I was expecting to find you to be wrong on one account. I wasn't aware that I'd, I'd get you wrong on two. Man, this is so awkward, Tatum. I hope you never watch my video. It was, that would be embarrassing for you. And then not only are you talking about pronouns, you are mischaracterizing pronouns. How? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Is he gonna do the singular they thing? You are a singular person. He... Yeah. His, yeah. She, yeah. Hers, yeah. Singular person, yeah. You are not a, you know, you are not plural. Nobody said they're plural. I hadn't seen the video, but I knew where this is going. It's always the same. There's no plurality of persons okay. in an individual being. Okay. There is no they in a singular personal pronoun. Do 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 Let's just drop that from the American Psychological Association. And we'll just drop in a Wikipedia article for the fun of it. Because, you know, we're just, we're just like that. Hey, anybody who's here, do me a favor. Let's do something artificial. I just dropped this here. Y'all should totally go to the video. And just upvote that comment a bunch and engage with it a bunch so that it magically finds itself at the top of his fucking sort by list. Because apparently conservatives need English lessons. Just, just do it. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were humming the Jaws song. No, but I have been humming, uh, unironically, I have been humming uh, the... Uh, Mario RPG boss theme music repeatedly. I even found myself doing it at a Magic Draft tournament uh, earlier in the week, and it felt kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> Twitter is garbage fire that I will never engage with, but a YouTube comment. Ah, yes. A YouTube comment will never involve any kind of toxicity at all. You are one person, a singular person. Yep. She, hers, identifying as a singular person. There they is no is looking too. at one person saying they. Yes, there is. It's accepted by the APA. It's been accepted in the English lexicon for over seven centuries. None of this is new. It's just new to you because you're nightmarishly slow. Them. What are we smoking? Dude, you need to, you need to be smoking something. You need to chill the fuck out. This is, uh, this is crazy. People should go to prison. What? We're putting this propaganda 
and abusing should... children. How is it abusing children? What? <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. I'm crying. What is this? What is this madness? Abusing children? They put a fucking thing on your cereal box? And that's child abuse? That's child abuse to you? This is somehow child abuse. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna legitimately die here. How is this child abuse? I just don't I just don't get it. The desk is gone now. We do not have a desk anymore. Dude doesn't need to smoke, he needs a chill pill. Dude, uh, he could he he could get he could get a chill pill by smoking. He could totally do it. He could totally do it. Ah uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna legitimately die. Uh <laughs> I lose faith in the human race. I lost all faith in the human race a long time ago. And this is proving I need not recover it. Ah! Okay. But what about my freeze, Peach? Let's not. <laughs> okay. We back here now. We don't need a desk today. Not today. Let's just let's keep going, Tatum. Let's keep going. Sexually, that's what this is. Sexual abuse of a child. I don't think you know what those words mean. I legitimately don't think you know what any of those words mean. Not a single one. I don't think you know what abuse means. I don't think you know what sexual means. I don't think you should be allowed around children. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? Child abuse? They put a rainbow on your fucking box. A rainbow. You fucking snowflake. You goddamn fucking snowflake. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> mad. Cypher, thank you very much for the subscription. Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, can I just say, it is amazing how, like, well this model holds up when zoomed in. Just, just what is this? What is this? Tatum, should we allow you around, like, regular functioning people in society? I, I gotta know. I gotta know. It's fucking cereal! You're the real Fruit Loop! <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay. We're back. We're back. We got this. We can finish at least another minute of this video, I swear. LGB. What does a kid know about LGB? They barely can say they AB. Wait. PCs, forwards and backwards, phonetically. And, 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 and y'all got LGBT. I can't even say my ABCs backwards. That's not a skill I have. Okay, so wait. What if the parent has two dads? Let's say that the, 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 let's say that the kid has two dads or the kid has two moms. What does he know about the LGBTQ? His parents are them? This can happen in, in forms of adoption. This can happen via things like in vitro. This can happen via things like surrogate parentry. Dude, you've got all kinds of problems. You've got all kinds of children who will know, like, what a gay person is. Is he unironically doing the alphabet argument? Yes! Yes, he is! First of all, let me, I'm pointing at the screen. Y'all can't see me pointing. This from, from, from LG on is, is ridiculous. What? From LG, wait, bisexual people don't exist? What is a Q? You. Weren't you a fucking QA honor? I don't know if he was actually. I'd scratch that one from the record. Oh, look, it's a Q. A queer person. 
a, a queer person. You missed my hydrate? Okay, fine. I'll hydrate or dehydrate. Let me just... <sighs> Said queer or questioning. Yeah, anybody who's queer or questioning. Questioning. That's it. That's all it is. Everybody know if you somehow... And this is for grown people, not no kids. Everybody knows? Oh, I love these kind of arguments. They always end well. If you somehow um, a girl and you want to be another girl, that's an L. If you're a dude and you don't want to be another dude, that's G. Yep. Even though both of them can be G. So you don't even really need an L. <sighs> I'm just not even going to touch that one. Let's go. You just need a G. Now, the B is because you want to be nasty and you want to be freaky and you want to be you want to have it both ways what wait so let me get this straight if a person's just attracted to both people they're automatically a sexual deviant they're automatically a freak they're automatically freaky do you i have a question when the two brain cells that were left in your brain when the two brain cells left in your cranium, when they were f desperately trying to fuck a third one into existence, what went wrong? I'm, I'm real curious. I need to know. I need the explicit pornographic details. What happened? Because, like, everything was there. I mean, something got fertilized. Where'd the third brain cell go? Because I, cause I cannot believe that more than a couple of brain cells were used in the formation of this thought. That's what B is. That that ain't the same. Yeah, it is. B, the, 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 the B here is literally one of D's and one of D's and also a straight. And you just, you just throw them into a blender and you get a B out at the end. Right? That's... I'm obviously messing some stuff up, but like at a basic level. You just want to be nasty. That's why you want, that's why you put a B right there. Cause you nasty. And you you want both. I'm just gonna. Officer Tatum desperately not understanding by people. It's in the video, at least. At least it's there. At, at least it's there. Now I'm curious. I'm curious. Now we're gonna sort by newest first. We got. <laughs> Y'all threw 17 likes on this. Y'all threw 17 likes by this. Just. Okay, let's go. Let's just keep going. That that's not that's unacceptable. Maurice gave something that is acceptable. Thank you very much for redeeming your points for an oh well, oh well. And a T and a Q a T. What what is a T? What is a T? A, a trans person, a person who does not identify with the gender they were given at birth. That is all it is. That that's all it is. All of these, all of these are mental disorders. What? Tate. God, I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? We're going to have to actually do this. Cirrus, conversion therapy. We're just going to. You know what? Tatum. Tatum, my guy. Just all of these are mental disorders. Have I got a video for you? We're just we're just going to drop the conversion therapy video in there cuz that actually has like when lesbian gay and everything got taken out of the various forms of the DSM. And why? Like, 
I'm just I'm just gonna drop those there. All of these are mental disorder, dude. Dude, no. When the actual authorities on psychological shit are disagreeing with you on this, you have to wonder. They're mental disorders. They're not. And that don't mean you got to be mad at nobody or treat anybody poorly because what? they have a mental disorder. How is it a disorder, though? Please explain how it's a disorder. But stop pushing mental disorders on children. How are you pushing a mental disorder on a child? This would be like if I explained to my child that somebody they were trying to play with was autistic, and so you might have to operate just a little bit differently. Now I'm pushing a mental disorder on a child by your argument. Except you would accept what I'm doing. You would accept me trying to, to contextualize something for a child so that they could operate better in a group of other people. You would accept that. But you would not accept this apparently but it's 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 the same thing it's merely informing children that different people than them e e exist they just exist because if you are a man and you want to be with another man some something chemically has diverted in your mind how can you explain the the normative proposition of attraction and you can't use the argument that, well, they can't make babies because not everybody who's attracted to somebody else wants to make babies. Not everybody that sees someone that they want to fuck wants to have a child with them. So you can't hide behind the, well, they can't make babies argument. Not to mention, them not being able to make babies is literally only constrained by science. Give it a few more fucking decades. Anyway, past that. Can you explain to me, Officer Tatum? Because obviously you're the expert in in psychological research and human development, apparently. I'm going to defer to your expertise when I ask the question. Officer Tatum, how are normative relationships formed to you? Not normal relationships. No, 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 normative. As in relationships we ought pursue. How are those formed? Are they formed by biological mechanisms or something else? Like... Do you know? Can you explain? No, he can't. He's a fucking idiot. Because evolution has shown us, Bible has shown us, whichever one you want to believe in. You, you, you can literally believe in both. You can believe in both. You absolute idiot. That a man's only survival of the fittest instinct is for a man to reproduce with a woman. You actually don't know how evolution works, do you? At all. You, 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 you literally cannot say that statement and try to back it up with biology. Biology does not inform oughts, sir. You don't know what the fuck survival of the fittest is. The only reason that you... Go ahead, go ahead. Make a bigger fool of yourself. I'm waiting. Is to reproduce. Yeah? No. And again, if gay people want if gay people want to have children, all they have to do is go through either in vitro or go through adoption or if they if they desperate or adoption is for having kids. No, no, no. Reproduction. Surrogacy. You can engage in surrogacy. Naturally. Now y'all have perversed it and now you want to just do it on the weekend because you feel like it. But just do it on the weekend because you feel like what? Do you just not get sex? Are you just upset that other people get sex, Tatum? Is that is that is that what's happening here? Because it's if so, it's sad. I feel sad for you. I don't I don't actually like I don't want to make fun of you here. I feel for you if that's what's happening because nobody deserves to be lonely. If you are somehow having a emotional feeling that's contrary to human nature, then do you even know what human nature is? Do not bring up brute facts if you cannot substantiate them that's a disability that is called a, a disability a tr <laughs> if you're a lesbian or a gay person or bisexual you have a disability now H how how is that a thing what when when does that factor in
anywhere. Gender dysphoria or sexuality dysphoria? Sexuality dysphoria? Okay, I gotta know. Did you just make that one up? Sexuality dysphoria. Ego dystonic sexual orientation is an ego dystonic mental disorder characterized by having a sexual orientation or an attraction that is at odds with one's ideal self image. This one was debunked as pseudoscience, though. I actually had this one in. Oh. LGB. That's already a problem. Okay, so no, this. I went over in the conversion therapy video. If memory serves, this one is literal horseshit. Tatum. I'm I'm waiting for you to make me uh, normally, normally, right? Normally, I am a a huge advocate for cringe, okay? Own your cringe. Be your be your cringiest self. Because that's your truest self. The self that you are that makes other people go, "Ah, dude, why?" No, 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 no. Be that person. Be that person. Normally, I advocate for that, but right now, Tatum, you are making me cringe in ways that I have not felt in a very long time. And I don't know if I can continue. I, in fact, actually, I know that I cannot continue. I may return to this video at a later date, but we are at 36 minutes of your horse crap. And I, I just, I just cannot. I cannot anymore. I, I have to make it stop. The pain is real. It's giving my audience brain rot. There is there is a literal Officer Tatum shaped fungus that is currently working its way into the ears of every person who I'm currently broadcasting your video to. And it is causing them excruciating pain that they did not consent to. But if they did, it would be kinky. Because according to you, everything's some kind of kink, right? People being bisexual is a, is fucking kinky to you. Jesus Christ. I'm I'm just gonna say it right now, dude. You need you need help. You need legitimate help. Okay. Well, with all that said, if you want to support the channel and what I do for all the suffering that I do for you then please check the <laughs> links in the description. Uh, or if you're watching over on uh, Twitter or Twitch, Twitch, not Twitter, Twitch, Twitch, that place, then, you know, uh, just just support the channel. You can do that, right? 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 Cool. Cool. We agree. Thank you for watching. Please check the description for all kinds of stuff that can help support the channel. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow if you haven't already. And uh, insert end of video tagline here.